I'm Linda and welcome to Barlati's Body Blitz Bar Advanced. This DVD is for those who are ready to take their bar practice to the highest level. You will be doing more repetitions than in the bar intermediate workouts and also incorporating some compound moves that use upper and lower body together. You'll also use a bar ball or an inflatable playground ball to intensify some of the exercises. This DVD can be used as a standalone or in combination with the bar intermediate workouts. If you don't feel that you're quite ready to move on to just the advanced workouts, you can mix in some of the intermediate level to help you transition more easily. Bar Advanced has three target specific workouts as well as a bonus cardio bar workout. The workouts are Bar Advanced Lower, Bar Advanced Seat, Bar Advanced Arms and Abs and the bonus Bar Cardio. This DVD has a play all feature as well as chapters so you can mix and match your favorite workouts and there are also pre-mix options available which combine the workouts in different durations and combinations. The only equipment you will need is an exercise mat, some light hand weights, a chair or countertop to hold onto and an inflatable playground or bar ball. If you don't have one of these you can use a cushion or roll up a towel. So what are you waiting for? Go and grab your equipment and come and work out with me. Breathing out at the top, really trying to push your shoulder blades up and out. Coming back in, knee to elbow twice. Keep going, it's out, push up, in, knee, knee, and push up. Now to the other side, step through, two raises, step back into plank, and push up, down, up, circle, and down. Really tighten your core here. It's going to help you balance. A few more like this. Push up, up, across, twice. Hip dip, hip dip, front arm down. Push up, all the way up. Across to the elbow, twice, and hip dip, Hip dip. It's one, two, three, four. Hand down. It's all the way down. Two, three, four. We're just switching and switching. Obliques the side of your waistline a little bit more with the bottom leg. Okay, so imagine you've got a crayon in between your toes on that ball. If it's too much, then drop this leg down like this. So you should really be feeling those lower abs. Again. So it's up and down. It's up, that's the trick. If you go too far behind you, you will end up tipping towards the back. So it's like a swan, swan arms action, where you're leading with the elbow in your arm, Pushing your shoulders down, it's up, it's out, and in. So you're really developing your arms out there, then coming back to that rounded position. You want to come up on that toe at the back and even raise that toe, breathing up and in, down, up and in. See how I'm twisting my palms? Just a few of these. Don't put all your weight on the back toe. So push away, in and out with those arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Stretching out through the obliques. Blow all the air out of your tummy. And then come forward onto your tummy and just push up. So it's high on your tippy toes. Slowly down, drop the heels and stand. Hold. Now I want you to sink down flat feet, come up on your toes and up and flat feet. So squat for Make sure whenever you're up on your toes, your weight is on your big and second toe predominantly. Don't roll out onto your pinky side. Tiny down and up. So you should feel this straight away. Is your belly button pulled to your spine? Is your back nice and straight? Come up, squeeze twice. It's a small movement. Down and up. Decide. You're not going forward, you're not going back. Two, three, four, one, 
two, three, four. All the way down and up, squeeze. All the way down, squeeze. Squeeze in, in. Make sure you don't lose the ball. Stay up on your toes. Squeeze that ball. You need to bring your feet in quite close here. It's up, it's slow and controlled. And it's all the way down, so you're really sinking low. So you're just keeping that shape of the leg. Down, toe to knee. And kick. Two, three, four, two, one, hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, zip behind. Down, behind. And back, back. Three, four, four circles. Two, three, four. Four the other way. One, two, three, four, four raises. One, two, three, four. Now go to the side. Same thing. One, two, three, four, and circle. One, two. Choose a point in front of you to help you focus. Down. Squeeze through your quads. Oh, that feels great. I'm letting the thigh push to the ground with that thigh. And push your hips forward. Just come down as far as you're comfortable. Don't round your back. Stay nice and upright through the chest. Then other side. It's curtsy. It's regular. It's front. It's squat. It's curtsy. So your knee is not coming out over that toe. You're going down. Rotate. If you want to hold on with one hand, you can. Stretch and back in. You can bend the supporting leg if you like. The other leg and to the front. Back behind and to the front. Up. It's up. Really feeling that glute now. So I hope you're starting with me. It might take a few to get your balance. Get your leg up higher. Don't let it drop. Squeeze, down and up, squeeze, squeeze, down and up. We're lifting that leg up, holding the shape of it. You're keeping your leg behind your hip. Your foot is still high. Squeeze, squeeze, back. Draw an imaginary line and don't let your leg come in front. Raising, up. Your kneecap is facing the front, back, so. Drawing that imaginary line again, keeping your leg up and out, twice with pointed, twice with flexed. Point for two, push away, and we have the other side to do. Glutes, make fists out of those glutes, this is the home stretch, and I want you to tilt your hips towards you, blow out, up and down, up and down. One now, hold up there and remember that ticking action, that tucking of the hips between your hamstrings and your glutes. Tuck towards you. Breathe out as you tuck. Placing your ankle on the other knee and pulling in and push away. But if you couldn't do all the reps, don't worry about it. Try harder next time. Add a few reps each time you do this workout. Stretching forward. Arms are just floating to the side and back in. As well as the calves, your weight is in the heels and behind. Okay, warming everything up, stretching through the feet. So you're squatting a little bit and then pointing to the front with those scooping arms. So it's back, back. Staying with this faster tempo. Now when you start bouncing on that supporting leg, you can see I'm slightly off my heel. Now raise that leg. Raise and kick. Not many here. And two. And one. Now start to bounce through that supporting leg. One, now flick it out. And you're jumping on that leg. Two. One, now bounce it. Bouncing through the front leg. Three, two, one. Now kick. Kick behind. Bend the kick. So it's one and two. One and two. 
One and two, one and two. Nice long leg at the back there. 